welcome to this channel uh, today i will show you how to design fuzzy logic controller on matlab uh, to design fuzzy logic controller on matlab we have to use fuzzy logic designers fuzzy logic designer is a graphical user interface which is used to design fuzzy logic uh, controller so in order to design fuzzy logic controller we must know how to uh, uh, add inputs and uh, outputs or how to add inputs and output linguistic uh, variables uh, the other is how to add membership function and how to change its uh, types actually we have to add an input and output here here is the input and here is the output so here we will see how to add inputs and outputs more than the uh, defaults and how to add membership functions each input and outputs are uh, partitioned using membership functions depending on it is universe of discourse so how to add uh, those membership functions and how to change these types actually there are different types of membership functions like triangular membership function uh, z type membership function s type membership function uh, bell type membership function uh, gaussian type uh, membership function so how to change those membership functions we will see the other is how to construct uh, rules uh, in order to design fuzzy logic controller uh, we have to design uh, uh, or construct the rules because really rule uh, is the knowledge base uh, uh, prerequisites for designing fuzzy logic uh, controllers so here we see how to uh, construct and when we construct those rules uh, so we will see this one also finally how to defuzzify the uh, fuzzy logic uh, controller uh, this is the final step for fuzzy logic controller uh, designs you see uh, we have to defuzzify in order to get the crisp output which is input to the plant uh, let us to see on uh, matlab Uh, here we have to type fuzzy uh, in order to uh, go to the uh, fuzzy logic designers by default we have got uh, one input and one output fuzzy uh, logic uh, designers uh, here how to add inputs and uh, outputs we will see actually uh, this fuzzy logic designer have uh, three icons the input the file the edits and uh, views each have its own functions let us to see each function is by clicking on it file in file there is a uh, new fuzzy inference systems actually uh, there are two types of fuzzy logic controller that is mamdani type and sajino type the basic difference of those two types are on the constraint part of their rules now there is there is an import here if uh, it is possible to import uh, uh, files from workspace or from uh, files the other uh, export it's also the same to import uh, from uh, uh, to workspace or to files the basic difference is the two uh, uh, exports are if we export our fuzzy logic designer to workspace it is applicable or reuse until we close our uh, computers if we close our computers or our matlabs we cannot go to those uh, uh, data on workspaces uh, if we use uh, two file or export two file it is possible to reuse after closing the, either the matlab or uh, shut off or uh, computers uh, the other icon is uh, edit inside edit there is uh, add variable it is possible to add the input and output variables if we uh, if we want to add two inputs 
uh, on uh, the input uh, portion we have to add inputs one one input added if we want to add another input input we got three inputs so this fuzzy logic designer or this fuzzy logic controller have three inputs and one output if we want to add another output we follow the same procedure add then output we get two outputs so it is possible to add the input and outputs in the same procedures you see uh, the other thing is uh, remove selected variables if we want to remove the input and outputs we have to uh, first click uh, the variable we want to delete here click then from edit we have to remove selected variables in this way have you seen uh, the other is membership functions each input and outputs are partitioned based on membership functions so how to add and remove membership functions if we want to remove all of those membership functions we go to winter from uh, edit then remove all we go to free windows so if we want add five membership functions here uh, we add membership function click here then select five okay we go to five uh, symmetrical membership functions if we want to add uh, membership functions on second input add membership function uh, before we reject or clean this one in this window remove all free window then we can add uh, membership functions it has to add the same membership function uh, to the previous inputs okay we got five membership functions if we add uh, we want to also for outputs we follow the same procedure we remove all membership functions then add membership function then click five okay for the second input and in the second output we follow the same procedure remove all and click add membership function add uh, five membership functions here also we we can add and remove in this way uh, and also it is possible to uh, give a name for inputs and uh, outputs how to give let us to see it okay here is here is input input here is another input here is output here is another output so if i want to change the inputs of the, uh, uh, this fuzzy logic controller change here error if I want to say this one also change in error have you seen its name is already changed error change in error if we want this one force one if you want to say this one force two now you see it is also force one force two so it is possible to give a name for input and output as we want uh, the other thing is we can also give a uh, membership function names or specified values so if we want to give this one negative big negative small zero positive small positive big here if 
for us to take z right here negative d can be d if you want to uh, denote this one uh, negative small here if you want to denote this one with zero get if you want to denote this one also negative medium mm, I mean negative small I mean positive small positive small here positive big we have to follow the same procedure for the other inputs and uh, outputs uh, now we have to construct rules how to construct rules in order to construct rules we have to click here rules we go to the rule editors from this rule editor we can uh, construct the rules as we want so in order to construct rules we have uh, two connections that is or and uh, or connection and and connections we can use as we want here in the rule editor there is a, a add rule change rule and delete rule if we want to delete rules first we have to select the rule and click delete if we want to change the rules first uh, change select the rules then we can change the rules let us to see one by one if uh, we construct the rules if input one is NB, then input two is uh, uh, MF, then output one is MF, output two is MF1. We can add a rule. If input one, input two is NB, NS, I mean, input two is MF, input three is, I mean, output one is MF2, output two is MF2, we can add the second rule. If input 1 is uh, Z, input 2 is MF2, input 3, I mean output 3, output 1 is MF3, output 2 is MF1, we can add the rules. The other is, if input 1 is PS, input 2 is MF3, output 1 is MF4, output 2 is MF4 we can add another rule in this way we can construct uh, 25 rules because we have five inputs for both uh, inputs due to that we have two i mean five to the power of two rules that is 25 rules we can construct 25 rules uh, in the same procedures if we want to delete rules select the rule which we want to delete then click delete it is possible to do this way if you want to change we follow the same procedure uh, select the rules and uh, then you can change in this way then click change it is possible to also change the rules after uh, finishing the construction of rules on rule editor you can view the rules like uh, this rule view this is the rules this actually uh, this rule viewer shows which rules are uh, fired or on and also it shows the crisp output of the uh, controllers or the diversified output of the controllers in this way here at the current situation with input 1 0.5 and input 2 0.5 the rule 3 is uh, fired or on it's that the falsified the diversified output is 0.75 if we change this input to 1 i mean 0 0.1 0.1 this one as it is 0.5 which rule is fired there is no any rule is fired you see let us to change this one to here it 
0.3835 so root 3 is fired it is diversified out to be 0 0.25 in this way we can uh, obtain the diversified outputs by varying the inputs that is input 1 and uh, input 2 this is all about how to design fuzzy logic controllers using uh, MATLAB Thank you very much. Please subscribe, share and comment uh, this channel.